I got four comics right here ready to be sent out to be graded. If you want to know what they are and what my predictions are, stick around. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics, and this is a format I have not done in a very long time. Unfortunately, I have a troll or an individual who, every time I try and post a live show, makes a false copyright claim and it shuts down the live feed. So I apologize for that. There's nothing I can do, and unfortunately, this one person with way too much free time is ruining it for everybody. So for the time being, it looks like I have to do things this way. So this way, if somebody makes a false claim, I can actually report them and they can't do it anonymously. So I apologize, but uh, I can't do any more live shows while somebody's doing that because it's just not possible. So with that being said, I have four comics that I'm sending off to PGX to get graded. I'll show you what they are, what my predictions will be. I do this each and every month. I've been doing this for now over two years where I'm allowed to send in four comics each month. Um, it includes the gradings, of course. It includes pressing and dry cleanings, which is something I highly recommend you get no matter who you decide to send your comics to. It includes signature verification and things like that. And uh, they allow me to do this each month, and then I get them back within about 90 days, sometimes less than that. Um, actually, about a month and a half, yeah. A month and a half to 90 days, especially these days, it's a little different because of, you know, what's going on in the world. But uh, then I don't know what the grades are, and we find them out together, so check my playlists on that. Now, I do have a couple of deals that I made sure I did with PGX. Now, the reason I do PGX is I also contacted CGC and CBCS. Neither one uh, ever responded. I do not get paid by PGX to do this. Some people say that getting the books graded is like being paid. There is a huge difference. I do not have any contract that's signed, so I am under no obligation to say anything. They know about that, so I appreciate that they allow me the flexibility of saying my opinion and showing it this way you could see it. Normally, I do the unboxings live so you could see them, but unfortunately, I have to do it this way until uh, that person with way too much free time decides to go do something more positive with their life. So... Um, a couple of specials that I um, worked out with PGX if you want to use them, and obviously you don't have to. If you send 10 or more comics to get graded and you use the code We Love Comics Free Press, you just have to indicate that when you send in the books. Just write that down on a piece of paper and indicate that you saw my We Love Comics channel. Um, you can get one of your books pressed for free, and you have to send in 10 books. Also, because of my idea, I have... Um, the ability now you can put the graders notes on the back of your book if you want. It's a $5 charge per book. Obviously, you can get them free if you want them to just email you the graders notes so you don't have to do it. But I like the graders notes because it makes them more you know, liable for what they say and more responsible. And I like that. So if you use the We Love Comics graders notes, again, it's $5 each. And don't forget to sign up for the cashback program where if you spend $25 or more by clicking the link in the description of this in any video, you spend $90, uh, $25 or more within the first 90 days, you get a, a $10 cashback bonus. So let's get into the four books. I will make my predictions. I will tell you any significance of them because I usually send in key books. Uh, three of the four I have not sent in. So, or two, actually two of the four I've never sent in before. So there's a new one I haven't sent in in a long time. And another one is my third copy. And I always tell people get multiple copies of books, especially key books, because, I mean, especially in times like this, if you need to sell something, it hurts a lot less if you have multiple copies. So you can have, to, if you have to sell something, you can sell one and still have it. So I highly recommend that. All right. So the first book is this is a book I definitely have been recommending for a long time. Obviously, with Wolverine soon to be in the MCU, it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. Um, books of Wolverine are going to be hot. Now, of course, one, Hulk 180 and 181 are going to be the major keys. Then, of course, you have Giant Size X-Men number one. But those are getting out of the price range, even in a 0 0.5. So this is his first, it's a limited series. It's issue one through four. So it's just a limited series, but it's the first time he had a solo book. 
So people are going to gravitate towards this book, especially when those books that I mentioned before get out of reach. So this is a book I highly recommend. Now, uh, this book has been triple signed. I don't know what this is, and the person I bought it from didn't know what that was either. But it is triple signed by Chris Claremont, Joe Rubenstein, and down here is Lewis Simonson. So triple signed, and I only paid $26.25 for this book. You can't even get this unsigned for that price. So very happy about that. And this is why I always tell people, you know, I got this book less than a year ago. So deals are out there. Sometimes you got to ask for them. Sometimes you got to wait for them. You know, you got to make them. A squeaky wheel gets the grease. So this is about ungraded. This is probably about a 90 to to $100 book at this point. You know, depending on the grade, obviously, 9.8 is going to be much higher and a 0 0.5 is going to be way lower. But I, I paid 26.25. I'm going to predict about a 7.5 to 8.5. Now, of course, I make these predictions before the pressings and dry cleanings. Uh, there, there are a couple of minor ticks. I don't even know if you'll be able to see them. They're not even a quarter of an inch, and there's maybe four or five of them. So I want to have the grade lower. And I don't know if this, because that's not a signature. I don't even know what that is. I don't know how much that's going to lower the book. So I'd rather be wrong and it be higher than wrong and be lower because it's more fun the other way. So I'm going to predict like a, about a 7.5 to an 8.5 with off-white pages. Definitely a book I recommend. Now, this is a book I've been telling people to get since 2016. I have multiple copies of this. I have three of them already graded CGC 9.8s. I still have at least three or four more of these books. Um, but it's been a while since I sent one in to get graded. This could definitely benefit from a pressing because it has a little bit of the groove by the staples, which happens. But that's how I got it. So this, of course, is Edge of Spider-Verse. Number two, first appearance of Spider-Gwen or Ghost Spider, whatever you want to call her at this point. This is the first print because you can tell the bottom layer is white. Second print is red, then there's a third, fourth, fifth, and sixth printing. I think the sixth printing, they started doing something differently. But you can tell by the white on the bottom here that this is the first print. This is definitely a book. Also, Ultimate Fallout 4. I've been telling people, again, since 2016 to buy these books. So I only paid $32 for this book because I bought these back in the days. I bought multiple copies. And uh, this book has not seen its full potential yet. Because if she ever ends up in a solo movie, which, you know, with all the female characters they're gravitating towards these days, that is not out of the realm of possibility. Of course, you know, there are no guarantees. And um, with her being in the um, Sony Spider-Verse movie, uh, really like what they did with the character. And uh, it definitely increased the popularity, so she has more room to grow. This book has not seen the top yet, so it's still, even though it's going to be expensive now, raw copies are selling for over $400 at this point. You're still going to see room to grow, so get them if you can. Again, I only paid uh, $32 for this, which includes shipping and handling. Um, it needs a little bit of a pressing because, again, there's a little bit of an indent that happened when I got it, but that's okay. That can easily be pressed out. So I'm going to predict to be safe on the safe side between a 9.4 and a 9.8 with white pages. I would absolutely love to get a 9.8 for that book, but we'll see what happens when it comes back. All right, this is another book I highly recommend getting. I have several book copies of this book. Um, it's a Silver Age book and one I really recommend you get. This is Silver Surfer issue number one. Now, of course, this is not the first appearance of the Silver Surfer, but... It is the origin of the Silver Surfer and his first solo series. So this is definitely a book I highly recommend with the Fantastic Four and Silver Surfer eventually making their way into the MCU. Again, like the other book, this book has not seen its top yet. So this is, again, a fairly expensive book at this point, but you ain't seen nothing yet. So even if you can get a lower grade, I always say low grade is better than no grade. So get what you can afford try and make some deals, even if you do trades, or even if you know somebody that's down the street that collects comics, and you tell him or her, I'll mow your lawn if you pay me in comics, there's always a way to, to make things happen. You just gotta use that brain. 
So there is a little bit of a tear at the edge here, about a quarter inch, so that is going to lower the grade. There is a price stamp, but that doesn't really affect Silver Age books. Overall, still looks pretty good. I only paid $80.55 for this book. Even in lower grade, you're going to pay over $100 plus at this point. But again, I bought these years ago, and um, probably about three years ago, so not like back in the 80s or anything. But this is definitely a book I have multiple copies of and will go up, especially once they make an announcement for Silver Surfer. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So I'm going to predict this one about a 3.5 to a 4.5. So I think especially even with that little split here that will fit in that range. So we'll see. And uh, off-white to white pages. So definitely, again, another book I would recommend. Uh, this book, I have three of. I think there are only between two and 300 of these in existence, and I own three of them, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, this is another book, if you can. It's a modern book, but get it if you can, if you can find it. This, of course, is Rick and Morty, Pocket Like You Stole It. And this is the Nerd Block Variant. Now, this is the rarest of all Rick and Morty number ones even more than the Royland 1 and 50 variant, because this book got recalled because when they made this cover, the company went out of business. So these stopped in production. So again, I don't know the exact amount, but I believe it's about two to 300 of these are in existence. So if you can get this book, I highly recommend it. I have two of these. I think one's a 9.4 and the other's a 9.6, and that one is signed by Justin Roiland. This one is unsigned. Um, it is an expensive book, but with the Rick and Morty having several seasons already under contract and the popularity of this TV show, this book is going to continue to rise. Sometimes it takes years, because I'll give you an example. Amazing Spider-Man 300, first full appearance of Venom. I had that book since the day it came out. I paid cover price for that book. For decades, I couldn't even get rid of that book. I remember at one point, I have one of the copies, because I bought two copies at the time. One of the copies back in the 90s, I got signed by Todd McFarlane. I tried to sell it at a yard sale 15 years ago, somewhere around there, for $25, and nobody wanted it. So sometimes comics can take years and decades before they see the potential. I mean, look at how many... Bronze Age books that were in the dollar bin for decades that now all of a sudden are worth hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Even my Hulk 181 that got stolen from me, I paid $80 for it. It got stolen, unfortunately, but that would have been in about a 9.0 comic, if not higher, that I paid under $100 for. So it can take time. So this book may not seem like it's going very quickly in the upward direction, but if the, the popularity of the move, the TV ends up happening and maybe who knows down the line they start making some movies and stuff like that you know stranger things have happened this book is going to be very sought after so don't let the higher price fool you but again you're taking chances when it comes to newer books but i would be pretty safe to say that unless they purposely sabotage the show or all of a sudden people just start hating it i mean this could be like simpsons level classic and with the comic books they're very desirable so I paid $405.85. Again, it could benefit from a pressing and dry cleaning. I don't see anything major with it, but I'm going to stay safe with the grading range. I'm going to say, again, about a 9.4 to a 9.8 with white pages. So those are the four books. We got Rick and Morty Pocket Like You Stole, issue number one, Nerd Block Variant. This is definitely a book to get if you can get it so you can see presented by Nerd Block. We got Silver Surfer, number one. This came out, I believe, in 1969 or 1970. It's one of the two. Absolutely one I would recommend. Please get this book if you can get it. Edge of Spider-Verse, number two. First print, first appearance of Ghost Spider or Spider-Gwen. And last but not least, my triple signed Wolverine, number one. So before you go, you're going to see an ending that you haven't seen in a while. I always do a surprise subscriber shout out like I, normally I do it on a live show, but I'm going to post them here. So if you stay until the end, you will see the surprise subscriber shout out. If you want one, you could leave in the comment section that you want one and I'll see if I can do it. I'm sorry it had to be this way. Um, unfortunately, with one of my trolls, they're making things difficult and I can't do a live show if they keep making false claims and it gets shut down. But at least you're going to get your videos. So if you appreciate this kind of stuff, thumbs up always help. 
Um, don't forget to wait until the end. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Check out my other videos because I have many of these. And don't forget, it's not you, it is not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know what you thought about this. And if you anybody knows who the person is, just tell them to go do something more positive. There's enough hatred in this world. We don't need people to cause other people pain, especially if it's just because they don't agree or like what the person's doing. Change the channel. Have a great day, everybody. Stay tuned for the today's surprise subscriber shout-out. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like to sign up for the cash back program and get $10 back if you spend $25 or more within the first 90 days, just click on this link right here. If you're interested in any of my Marvel mystery boxes, you can click this link and just go all the way to the bottom and you can order right there. If you'd like to join my Patreon account, it's right here. Facebook is right here. And mycomicshop.com if you'd like to order some comics from their store. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout out.